गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल इन द लास्ट क्लास I was dealing with the standard unit. In that, I have explained about standard unit. What is the standard unit of time also, and what are the fundamental units, and what are the different types of unit, such as SI unit, MKS unit, CGS unit, FPS unit. All this I have discussed, and also I have discussed some terms related to the simple pendulum. and how to calculate the time period of the simple pendulum so now first we will discuss some oral questions given in the test book then we will come to the next topic that is speed little bit i have already explained in the last class also topic related to speed but now today once again i am going to start with this topic first we will go a quick revision related to the oral question what is given in the book the first question is in the si system standard unit of length mass time and temperature are fixed what are this unit you know that standard unit of system means si system of unit unit of length is what is the si unit of length length is meter and mass mass is kilogram or kg and another is time time is second next is temperature temperature is kelvin now second question is given measuring time is more difficult than measuring length do you agree give reason yes measuring time is more difficult than measuring length because to measure the time we have to measure the duration between the two regular interval of time or measure we have to measure the such a way that that repeats after a regular interval of time in measuring length we simply have to measure the length with the help of the scale but here we have to measure the quantity which repeats at a regular interval of time which is little bit difficult in comparison to the measurement of length next question is the time period of a pendulum varies with with its length if the length is increased how does the time period changes i have already told you that time period of the pendulum formula is 2 pi root over l by g where l is the length of pendulum and g is the acceleration due to gravity so here question is asked what will happen if the length of the pendulum increases since this is a constant value t is directly proportional to root over l t is also directly proportional to root of uh, sorry inversely proportional to g 1 by g so here the question is given what will be the effect of time period if the length of the pendulum is increases means if the length of the pendulum increased the time period will also increased because time period of the simple pendulum is directly proportional to square root of length of the pendulum so i will be sending the pdf file of this oral question also You don't worry it. Now we will come to the next part of the topic, that is the speed. Speed. How will you define speed? Speed is the distance travel in unit interval of time. In unit interval of 
टाइम मीन्स स्पीड इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस अपॉन टाइम तो ऐसा यूनिट ऑफ स्पीड ऐसा यूनिट ऑफ स्पीड इज मीटर पर सेकेंड मीटर पर सेकेंड अदर यूनिट्स अदर यूनिट्स ऑफ स्पीड इज किलोमीटर पर आवर एंड वन मोर थिंग दैट स्पीड इज अ स्केलर क्वांटिटी स्केलर क्वांटिटी मीन्स टू डिस्क्राइब द स्पीड कंप्लीटली और टू गिव द कंप्लीट एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ दिस क्वांटिटी वी हैव टू ओनली गिव द न्यूमरिकल वैल्यू न्यूमरल मैग्नीच्यूड अलॉन्ग विद द यूनिट There is no need to give the direction. So, where only magnitude along with unit is required to express any fundamental quantities. These are the derived units. So, to express completely any physical quantity, if only numeral value along with the unit is required, then such physical quantity speed can never be zero. The speed can never be zero you can say or you can also say it cannot be negative also speed cannot be negative not neither zero you can also say because if a body travel certain distance and it takes certain time then there must be some speed it will not be a zero it will not be a negative now what are the different type of speed i am explaining what are the different types of speed different types of speed types of speed what are the different types of speed first is average speed average speed average speed means total distance total distance travel by a body upon total time taken total time taken suppose a boy cover certain distance that is 1 km in 5 minutes another 5 km by bus in 6 minutes and rest about about Six kilometer, six kilometer by cycle in ten minutes, and calculate, calculate, calculate the average. speed of of the boy calculate the average speed of the boy now here what i have told you that average speed is the total distance traveled by a body 
upon total time taken. Now, in a simple questions, here it is given a boy traveling a certain distances in different manner. That he is traveling one kilometer. I am writing at the top. He travelled one kilometer distance and time taken in a short form. One kilometer. How much time? Five minutes is taken. Another five kilometer. How much time is taken? Six minutes. And next. Ten kilometer in ten minutes. Now these are the distance travel at different time. Now what we have to calculate? I have to calculate the average speed of the boy of whole journey. Speed of the boy. Of the whole journey, I have to do first. I have to add all this distance. To. Now here it is six. Sorry, six kilometer in ten minutes. Now what I have to do? First, we have to add all the distances travelled by the boy. Six plus five, eleven plus one, twelve kilometer. Total distance is. 12 kilometer. Now total time 16. That is 21 minutes. As per formula, average speed is total distance travel. Upon total time taken, here the total distance travel is twelve kilometer. You have to convert this into SI unit into meter. Twelve into one thousand, that will be twelve thousand meters. And the time you multiply it by sixteen to change it into second. Then what will be the Time will be the second. Now the total distance is here twelve thousand upon twelve hundred sixty meter per second. Now you cancel this; it will be twelve hundred upon one twenty six. Divide this. What will be the value? Now, when you divide this, the value will be approximately 9.52 meter per second. So, this is the average speed. As per formula given, for average speed is total distance travelled by total time taken. Now, one more example I am giving to calculate the average speed of the whole journey. Another example of average speed, or to calculate the average speed. Let us see the another example. Now another example to calculate the average speed numerical. A body travel certain distance. At the speed of forty kilometer per hour, and and returns at the speed of 
50 किलोमीटर पर आवर कैलकुलेट द एवरेज स्पीड ऑफ द कैलकुलेट द एवरेज स्पीड ऑफ द होल जर्नी कैलकुलेट द एवरेज स्पीड ऑफ द होल जर्नी नाउ सी हियर द बॉडी ट्रेवल सर्टन डिस्टेंस एट ए स्पीड ऑफ फोर्टी किलोमीटर पर आवर एंड रिटर्न एट द स्पीड ऑफ फिफ्टी किलोमीटर पर आवर रिटर्न मीन्स रिटर्न टू द सेम पॉइंट रिटर्न यू कैन से दैट रिटर्न टू द सेम पॉइंट एट द स्पीड ऑफ फिफ्टी किलोमीटर पर आवर कैलकुलेट द एवरेज स्पीड ऑफ द होल जर्नी Now, as for formula, you know that average speed is total distance travelled by total time. But here, you what you are saying? No total distance is given. No total time is given. Then how you will able to calculate the average speed of the journey? Yes, in this question only the distance is also given and time is also given. How? it is given let us see suppose distance between a and b this is a certain distance i have taken this distance as a x kilometer now when it goes from this side the speed of the body is 40 kilometer per hour 40 किलोमीटर पर आवर ऑन गोइंग जर्नी द स्पीड इज 40 किलोमीटर पर आवर सो यर यू राइट स्पीड इज योर गिवन 40 किलोमीटर पर आवर एंड डिस्टेंस दैट इज डी वन इज एक्स किलोमीटर नाउ व्हाट विल बी द टाइम You have studied the formula. What speed is equal to distance upon time? Now the time is equal to what will be distance upon speed. So here time is equal to distance upon speed. That will be equal to distance is x kilometer. And speed is forty. This is in hour. And this time you take as t one. Now, when it returns on returning also, it covers a distance how much? D two. In returning also it covers x kilometer. The speed of returning journey is fifty kilometer per hour. Now time that is t two will be how much distance upon speed? Distance is x upon fifty. This is enough. Now see. Now I have got the time taken for ongoing journey and returning journey. So the total time will be total time of the journey will be what t one plus t two that is x y forty plus x by 50 what will be the lcm lcm you take 200 forty five ja 200 this is 5x 
200, this is 4x. That will be 9x upon 200 hour. This is the total time taken. Now, total distance x kilometer when he goes on travel x kilometer and when he return back, then also x kilometer. So, so what will be the total distance? Total distance will be 2x kilometer. Total distance will be x plus x is equal to 2x kilometer. Now you get total distance is here and total time is here. Then what is the average speed of the journey? Average speed of the journey will be total distance that is 2x upon total time taken 9x upon 200. This 200 will become in the numerator that will be 2x into 200 upon 9x. Cancel the 9x and it will be 400 by 9. You divide it. Now to 36 char. Now to 36 char. That is 44.44 kilometer per hour. So Average speed of the whole journey will be 44 km per hour. In this type of problem, you should never add the speed and divide it by 2 because this is the wrong method to find the average speed. Means, what do you do? 40 plus 50 divided by 2. So, now we have seen the average speed. Now, another type of the speed is uniform speed uniform speed in uniform speed how will you define this when a body travels when a body covers or travels equal distance equal distances in equal interval of time in equal interval of time then you can say that then we can say that body is having uniform speed uniform speed Means how will you identify it? That it is a uniform speed or not? Suppose I am taking one calculation related to this. Here it is distance in meter and time in second. Now 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 16. Here I am taking 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Now see, equal distances travel means, and equal, in equal interval of time means, here the time difference is 2 seconds each. Every successive number is dif differ by 2 means 2 seconds. After every second, the distance travel increases by 10 meter. So, when you calculate the speed in this case at any instant, suppose I am calculating for this point. Distance is how much? Distance is 10 meter and time is how much? 2 seconds. What you get? 5 meter per second. Suppose I am calculating the speed at this point. What you will see? Distance is how much? 30 and time is 6 second that is 5 meter per second means wherever any point you calculate the speed you will get the same speed this shows that when a body travels equal distances 
in equal interval of time then such body has a uniform speed means in any at any point of at any time when you calculate you will get a constant speed there will be no change in the speed so this is called uniform speed other is non uniform speed here only we will write it here non uniform speed then what is the non uniform speed here we will change the term equal instead of equal we will write unequal unequal distances in equal interval of time then the speed is called non uniform speed means what we do here we write 25 meter here 70 meter here 80 meter here again 60 meter now what you see the time interval is 2 second uniform time interval but the distance covered is varying sometimes 25 meter the difference is 15 meter here 30 meter the difference is 5 meter only here 70 here 80 and when you calculate the speed suppose i have calculated the speed here what you get 5 meter now we calculate the speed at this point here what will you get 70 upon 80 A hey, sorry eight. What will be the calculation? Eight eight ja sixty four eight point something eight eight ja sixty four Eight point seven five meter per second. Now see what you see. The speed will vary from one point to another point because the distance travel in this case is not equal, but the time interval given is equal. So when the body travels unequal distances in equal interval of time, then in such case the body is having non uniform speed and this non uniform speed also you can say they are having non uniform motion means non uniform motion now you have already studied speed average speed uniform speed non uniform speed now do you know what is the instrument name with the help of which you can calculate the speed of a body that is called speedometer a speedometer is an instrument with the help of which you can see the speed of any body you have seen in a motor bike or in a car a round say is given in between that here number is given 1 2 3 4 and this number is rotating and here one indicator needle is there and here mention 20 km 50 km 70 km in this way the numbers are given 100 km red green and different level this is called speedometer and in between that this kind of digits are given in between where this digits are changing as per the vehicles are moving on this is called odometer odometer is used to measure the distance traveled by the body and this speedometer is used to measure the speed of the body now i have already told you that SI unit of speed is meter 
per second and other unit or other bigger unit of speed is kilometer per hour. Now there may be question to convert the unit from meter per second to kilometer or kilometer per hour to meter per second. Now let us see kilometer per hour. Per hour means one hour kilometer means one kilometer. You know that one kilometer is equal to thousand meter and one hour is equal to thirty six hundred second. You cancel this. This will be five by eighteen meter per second. So, if it is given seventy-two kilometer per hour, and convert this into meter per second, then what we will do? Simply, what we will do? We have to multiply seventy-two by Five by eighteen. Eighteen four is seventy-two. Five four is twenty. This will be twenty meter per second. Simple. Means to convert kilometer to meter per second. What we will do? We multiply the given value of kilometer per hour. With five by eighteen. Suppose you have to change twenty meter per second into kilometer per hour. Then what you will do? In reverse manner means you have to. Divide this term by five by eighteen means to convert meter per second to kilometer per hour. What you will do? Given data that is twenty meter per second will be divided by five by eighteen. It means that twenty by one into eighteen by five. Five four that twenty. It is seventy two kilometer per hour. Means to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second. What you will do? You simply multiply by five by eighteen, and to convert meter per second to kilometer per hour. Then what you will do? You divide by Five by eighteen given data to five by eighteen. In this way, you can convert the unit from meter per second to kilometer per hour at. Now, since you have seen that how to convert the unit of speed from kilometer per hour to meter per second. And from meter per second to kilometer per hour. Till here, I hope you have understood. Now we will come back to the quick revision for the test, which which is going to be held on thirteenth August of science subject. I know that your UT two will start from tenth of August only, and your science. Paper is on thirteenth of August. So, for a for that, what type of question will be asked? You know that MCQ question is going to be asked in this test, and you have to choose the most appropriate answer of the given question. So, some samples I am giving from your exercise book only, not from any other else. But how to twist the question? You can see here only. See here. 
given that first question is which of these is not a standard unit which of these is not a standard unit so you here the word is given not a standard unit choice is given second meter hand span and gram you already know that standard unit of time is second standard unit of length is meter standard unit or you can say the cgs unit of mass is gram yahan it is asked here which of is not a standard unit it means this hand span is not a standard unit then the correct option will be c the correct option will be c now in this question we can change by simple word is change suppose from this question which of this is not a standard unit the answer of this question is hand span that is option c now if i rub it from here not is removed and here i am writing which of this is standard unit of time then what will be the answer which of these which of these is the standard unit of time the answer will be now second standard unit of time is second suppose again i am changing the word here instead of time i am writing length which of these is the standard unit of length then answer will be b that is meter so in this way your option changes with the statement of the questions given the first question was asking which of these is not a standard unit then for that the answer was hand span second question was asking in this only by changing some word which of these is a standard unit of time the answer was second and third question again changes which of this is the standard unit of length the answer is meter now you come to the next question second which of the following instrument measure the time most accurately which of the following instrument measure the time most accurately the answer is quartz watch measure the time most accurately now next question is which of these can only measure the time interval not the time of the day means short interval of time that is minute or hour you can calculate which instrument is used or which of these can use only to measure the time interval not the day then what will be the answer the answer will be sand clock sand clock sand clock is used to measure the time interval not the time of the day so this types of question is going to asked in the test which is which will be held on 13th of august of science paper i hope you all will do your best in the test thank you children please stay at home be safe and concentrate your studies you should put your whole effort and concentration or you can say that you can focus your work on your study only thank you have a nice day hope
we will meet again